This is Jin Yang from Kyoto University, Japan. Today, I would like to talk about our study on an efficient method for design of discrete developable surfaces by rigid flow. It is well known that a developable surface can be flattened onto a plane without any distortion. So they can be built in very low courses. And the developable surfaces have been widely applied in many different fields. For example, these are the two famous cases in architecture. However, for the smooth surfaces, the developable surfaces are limited to the root surfaces. So in this study, we are focusing on the discrete surfaces, especially those constructed by triangulating meshes. Mathematically, a developable surface is the surface having zero Gaussian curvature. And for the discrete surfaces, we adopted the definition for Gaussian curvature as the angle defect. It is notable that the angle defects are in fact determined by the lenses of the edges. For the discrete surfaces, it is important to have a regular mesh. This is not only important to the appearance, but also to the structural performance. For preservation of angles during deformation, we may use the conformal geometry. So here comes the main content of this study. And to design the discrete developable surface, and having zero Gaussian curvature while keeping the local shape of triangles, we adopt the powerful tool, the rigid flow. The other advantage of the rigid flow is the very high computation capacity. And for such surfaces, they will span the prescribed boundary. In particular, we have two steps in the design of such surfaces. To keep the local shape of the triangles, it is natural to keep the corner angles. However, there may be no solutions for this purpose. To relax the problem, we are to preserve the intersection angles between the adjacent circles. So the problem turns out to find radius of the circles by fixing the intersection angles. Here shows the flow chart of the discrete rigid flow. It is in fact to minimize the rigid energy, which is convex under certain conditions. And so for the convex minimization problem, we can use the steepest gradient method. And the output of the rigid flow is the edge length. And then in the second step of the proposed method, we are to find the total coordinates for the final geometry, which has the edge lenses determined by the rigid flow and span the boundary. So we have these two objective functions. To solve this problem in our examples, we transform it into a single objective function by using the coefficients a1 and a2 as shown here. And for example, for the first example, the span of the initial geometry is 30 meters and the height of it is 20 meters. By application of our method, we can then find the final geometry as shown here. 
And here is the computational time for the rigid flow and for solving the optimization problem. This slide shows the distribution of Gaussian curvature. And as we can see from this figure that the Gaussian curvature is almost zero for the final transmission. So this one is developable. And here shows the second example, the span of the initial geometry is 30 meters and the height is 50 meters. And finally, we can have the geometry as shown here. And this is the distribution of Gaussian curvature. And again, the Gaussian curvature inside is almost zero then the structure is developable. To sum up the current study, we have presented an efficient tool for design of discrete developable surface by using rigid flow. There could be one problem for the current study, and that's the final geometry. It's a little bit far from the initially prescribed one, and we would like to solve this problems in the future studies. That's all of my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention.